Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the GQ Jedi. If you're not already subscribed to me, blast that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. Now today we're back with part two of our Collector K series. Last uh, video, part one, we talked about the Darth Vader and C-3PO case. Today we're gonna talk about all the vinyl cases that Kenner made, and they did make some pretty awesome cases, and I have them, so let's talk about them. Kenner had put out the first line of Star Wars action figures in 1978, but kids really didn't have a great place to store them when they weren't playing with them. So in 1979, Kenner released the very first Star Wars mini action figure collector case. The case was made of vinyl and featured some of the coolest artwork of the late 70s. On the front of the case was hand-drawn art that depicted 18 of the first 21 action figures that were released in the Kenner line. Han and Chewie were taken aim on the top left hand side. Darth Vader was prominently featured on the top right side. And in the middle were Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader in their epic lightsaber duel. Very cool to see that. Love the colors. The Death Star was drawn, ironically upside down, which is kind of goofy. You could see Luke and Leia swinging across the chasm of the Death Star. The droids were featured. Jawas, Cantina aliens, sand people. Stormtrooper and the Death Squad Commander, they could all be found on this beautiful cover artwork. Some characters like R2-D2 and C-3PO are based off of movie stills, whereas in characters like Greedo were actually based off of Kenner's actual action figure, which is pretty sweet. The artwork depicted on this collector case really stands out and is the hallmark of Kenner's creativity back then. Every kid wanted to have this case growing up, as it clearly demonstrated to all that you were serious about collecting Star Wars action figures and you look cool doing so. Inside the case itself are two plastic gray trays with 12 slots in each one that enabled kids to house up to 24 of their favorite 3 and 3 quarter inch action figures. Now these trays had a two-fold purpose. Put your figures on the inside but if you flip the tray over, you'll notice that there was a bunch of foot pegs. Kenner had installed foot pegs on the tray so you could actually display your action figures. You could put your first 12 figures on here with no problem. Looked beautiful and they weren't going anywhere. So it was a really nice handy feature to have foot pegs on the back side of this tray. The case artwork shows 18 of the first 20 figures released up to that time. Boba Fett would be released later even though he was featured on the insert that was included in the case. This colorful insert showed exactly where the figures went inside the case. You knew exactly where Han Solo went or 3PO or Princess Leia. You could see exactly where they were intended to go. So that was pretty cool. Um, this insert was helpful. Kenner included a sticker sheet so you could actually plug in the stickers where they should go in each slot. So each figure was designed to have its own special slot, which was pretty handy. Um, it was up to kids if they really wanted to put C-3PO, for example, in the designated spot that Kenner had, you know, already thought out for us. So that was up to us kids. I don't know that every kid followed the pattern, though. Can't say that I did. Did you? The case itself did not come with a special compartment um, for weapons like the Darth Vader case that would soon to be released. Um, but this case itself, these trays, um, once they're inside the case, I do think it holds the figures in a better place than the Vader case. They don't really shuffle around. They stay pretty put. The case itself is durable. It's lightweight. Um, it's just a really, I don't know, it's a really well thought out case. Um, like I said, it's super light. Easy enough for a kid to hold, even with a full case of figures. This clasp right here is what um, snaps on and secures the case in place. And there is a um, this white plastic handle. That's how you carry your carrying case. Very easy. A simple case and you looked awesome carrying it around. What kid wouldn't want this? The exact case was re-released in 1980, but the original Star Wars logo was replaced for the Empire Strikes Back logo, but the case itself remained the same. It was identical to the original version. Kenner knew that kids would want an updated version to reflect the new sequel, so they released two more vinyl cases for the Empire Strikes Back. The first, which was released in 1981, 
kept his Empire Strikes Back logo but had a completely revamped cover artwork to better reflect the movie, which was awesome. It did do away with the gray trays and swapped them out for tan trays this time though. Also included was a sticker sheet and insert which I don't have. The cover artwork was beautifully hand drawn and featured Yoda on the top right hand corner. On the left side was the Empire Strikes Back logo. Below that you could find Luke Skywalker riding a Tauntaun. Next to him was an AT-AT driver with an AT-AT. You could see the Rebel Trooper. Darth Vader fighting Luke in Bespin outfit. And on the bottom left you could find the bounty hunters. Dengar, IG-88, Boba Fett, and Bosk. Bespin Leia was there. FX-7 and 21B, the medical droids. Bespin Guard, Lobot, Lando Calrissian, an Ugnaught, and even Slave One taken off from Cloud City. Very cool artwork. I think Kenner did a bang up job right here. Super cool. Love this cover. In 1982, Kenner released the second true Empire vinyl case with updated cover artwork. This case features a lot of the toys that can be seen in the Kenner line along with the action figures created. At the top of the case, you can see a Rebel transport taking off from Hoth. You can see the Wampa. You can see the Cloud car with a pilot inside. The Millennium Falcon. Some TIE fighters chasing it. And of course, the tripod laser cannon manned by some snow troopers. And a tiny ATST. Kind of really tried to squeeze in all of our favorite toys on this cover artwork. At the top left, we have Master Yoda next to an R2-D2 with sensor scope. We have a Hoth Han tending to Luke Skywalker. You got Chewie carrying removable limbs 3PO next to a Bespin security guard. You have a cloud car pilot. You've got Luke and Vader dueling, and you have an Ugnaught down at the bottom here. You've got Bespin Han and Bespin Leia. You've got snow troopers, always looking cool. And of course, the ADAC commander next to Luke Skywalker carrying Yoda in his backpack, completing the Dagobah scenario. Very cool. This artwork is amazing. This is one of my favorite two cases. Kenner once again swapped out the trays. This time they're red, a beautiful red color, matching the Empire Strikes Back logo coloring. Um, did include an insert, and I actually have this insert, and this insert is minty, showing a lot of the action figures that were out. Um, so cool to see them. Double-sided, of course. Again, letting you know what you had and what you didn't have. Um, so that was always a nice little bonus inside these collector cases, getting this insert. Between the two Empire Strikes Back covers, I like this one the best. This one is just, I don't know, it's vibrant, it's colorful, and it pops. I love this case. Closing out the infamous line of vinyl collector cases is the 1983 release Return of the Jedi case. The artwork featured on this case is amazing and one of my favorites that I admire fondly. The drawings actually look like the figures released for the Jedi figure line. Top middle you got Jabba the Hutt right above the logo which is nice. You got Salacious Crumb right there. We Quay, Klaatu, Lando and Skiff Guard. You got Reyes with the Gamorrean Guard next to R2. You even got Han and Carbonite way in the back. You got Bausch, Bib Fortuna, Squid Head. Below that, you've got the Sail Barge. You have the Skiff, which was actually made and released in the Power of the Force line. You got Luke, Han, and Chewie with Lando in disguise, the Weeque and Klaatu, which are featured above, which is funny, they're featured twice. You got the Rebel Commandos at the Endor Bunker. You've got my awesome Biker Scout on top of his speeder bike. Love the speeder bike and the biker scout that's my jam right there c-3po is hanging out with chief chirpa on low gray doing that deity thing he does got the y-wing taking on an upside down death star again with the upside down death star two royal guards and of course the duel between luke and vader so awesome kenner just ah they killed it with this case this artwork is amazing in my opinion i love this case. The case does come with an insert and a sticker sheet which I don't have. Um, they did keep the red trays and as you can see the tray 
has the stickers on the outside. The kid who had it put the stickers on the outside instead of inside the trays. And as I told you, kids didn't always follow along. And that's the beauty of being a kid. You can do whatever you want. This is my favorite collector case next to the second Empire Strikes Back case. It's hard to pick between those two. The artwork is amazing. The drawings actually look like the figures themselves that Kenner made. Um, this Return of the Jedi case is one of the harder cases to get because it had a limited run because Kenner quickly released the C-3PO case right after that. So this is a very sought after case if you're collecting. And if you are collecting Star Wars figures, this is a case to have in my opinion. If you were collecting as a kid or if you're collecting now as an adult. What about you guys? Do you have a favorite vinyl case? Let me know in the comments down below and if you guys liked this video give the like button a thumbs up because it does help out the channel and if you've not done so blast that subscribe button hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content and remember collect or collect not there is no try.